morning diggers how are we doing well, I say morning it's morning for me just start walking Luna she's doing a wee there she is doing a wee wee she's probably grown a bit since the last video because that was about four months ago or whatnot so yeah she's getting big now she's ten months old now she'll soon be one one on the first of October uh, yeah thought I'd do a video today I'm heading out on some stubble and I'm using the simplex light so I've had one out in with it and I found three silver coins well no two silver coins and a silver butterfly so yeah I got triple silver with it and that was on the very first outing so this will be my second outing so I thought you know what I'll do a video and packs a punch for 189 quid it really does you don't need to be spending hundreds and hundreds anymore on metal detectors the technology now it's insane so yeah I thought I'd do a video just to show you how it gets on on the stubble it'll be the first time on this field since it last got cropped last year so it's been ploughed and now it's just stubble again so hopefully it's brought up a few bits hopefully a bit of roman we've had quite a few romans on this field simon had a silver stator on there as well silver unit celtic so the chances are i might get a roman but yeah i just want to show that an 189 pound machine can find you the goodies and you don't need to be spending six seven hundred so don't let the detecting snobs put you down if you're a beginner and you're getting a cheap machine because they're just as capable really they really are so i'm going to show you what i found on my first art and it's just like a couple of pictures show you the silvers and then we'll crack on and get on with the hunt hope everyone's doing well so i'm into my first signal for the video with the simplex light it's down here it's there let's do some um yeah so it's bang on there I'll tell you what such a good machine for the price 189 pound fully waterproof it's got vibrate functions it's got lights under it it's got a backlit screen it's crazy really crazy for the price 189 pound uh, is that it whatever that is there look i don't think it's a, no it's a bloody stone so it's not that oh it's the exit shotgun shell to start with so not the greatest of starts. Shotgun shell. Stumbled across a great target, well, great sounding target. You can't really see that, it's in the, it was in the 50s, I think. Yeah, this, this could be something nice. Could be a coin or a token, maybe, hopefully. Or could it just be crappy aluminium or something? So I don't really know what the target IDs and stuff are. It's only my second outing. It's out anyway, so pinpointer. It's in there. Here we go. Oh, it's just a piece of lead pipe. Lead pipe on that occasion. That was mid 30s. You can see, I think it's half a button. But I thought I'd show it. Ooh. Is it half a button? Yeah, it is. I've dropped it there. Look, just half a button. Nothing great. Let's target out. It's in in there. Thirty. So get the pinpointer on it. Ah, oh, I can see it now. I think. Yeah, oh, it's a bit of crappy can. Mid thirties can. In there, there's something in the mid seventies. Sounds nice. No, I, can see, I think it's another button. I don't think that's a coin. Oh no, shotgun shell. Shotgun shells are coming up all over the shop then. So I had one in the 30s, I think it was at the start. And that was mid 70s that time. It's into a nice one here. 60s to mid 60s, and I can see what it is. It's sticking out the ground. That's a pit token. That's miner's token there, look. Not had one of them for a while now. There we go, it's a Z. It's not the greatest one. Not the greatest condition wise, but yeah, we'll take that all day long. Always nice to find. Just jumping from 60s to 70s. Around 
around there. Could this be something tasty? Soon find out. Soon find out. Um, the one thing I would say about this machine, I have been tricked with iron a couple of times when I used it last time. Uh, I did dig a, a bit more iron than what I normally would. The last time I was out, I dug about five or six pieces of iron. Still sounds nice somewhere in here. So yeah, but for the price, you know what I mean? Uh, ooh, look at that. That's a snake buckle, isn't it? That's buckle. Sure it is. Watch it not be, I'm sure it is. Right, I'm gonna give this a quick clean, guys, and I'll be straight back. Yeah, there we go. Snake buckle, S buckle, her. Uh, seen better days. It's like a bit tarnished, like it's been in a fire or something. There's like some crud stuck to it at the bottom. But yeah, there's the tail and there's the face. It's just the snake one. Sometimes you get the snake and the swan, like two headed ones. But yeah, that's a nice find for the um, simplex light. That's right. Honestly, it just goes to show you don't need to spend all this money. You really don't. Obviously, it makes it easier in some aspects, but if you're new to the game, and you are just getting set up with metal detecting you don't need to spend hundreds and thousands do you know what i mean look that just proves that you're still finding the goodies even with the cheaper stuff um yeah like i was on about about the iron so look you can tell that that's iron it's all jumpy and it don't sound great at all it's all choppy now but in the ground that was coming up mid-20s for this yeah that was coming up mid-20s look it sounds dreadful now it hardly picks it up to be honest but at about five five inches that was coming up in the mid 20s for that like iron bolt or whatever it is so yeah it does trick you every now and again uh, numbers wise this one seems good pretty solid around 81 82 it's so like they're around there somewhere numbers wise and like solid tone back and forth so is it something nice or am I being tricked again? So like I say, I've not, I've not used the machine too much, but I've been impressed with it so far. I know I've said it a few times now, but it's just crazy. Is that that? Is it a bit of lead? No, oh, no, it's not that. So it must be in here. No, it's there. It's on top of the... Yeah, it is. It's a bit of lead into it, or a bit of shit. Yeah, it's a bit of shite. Just into what looks like an half penny. I'm going to focus. There it is. That was coming up in the um, I-50s. It was like 58, 59, and 60. It looks like an half penny. Yeah. Let's give it a wipe, see if we can get a date on this one. See where it is. George the fifth uh, date it's a bit smudged at the bottom I don't think we're gonna get the date on that one no uh, 1923 actually I think that might say a ah, little half penny we're in again just flick this one out and it's in that club there sounds the part again but will it be crap will it be good soon find out Uh, no, it's like like the inside mechanism of a watch or something. Look, we're a lock. You can see like the all the bits inside it. So yeah, always going to give off a good signal. That's like brass or copper. And mid forties. It looks like a big old Tempe. A big old Cooper nickel Tempe. It is 1969. Here we go, 10 pence, 2 shillings, that's what it would have been, 2 shillings, and then it changed to a 10 pence, 1969, it's 55, 56, Ray, we have found Ray, I don't know if it's a cufflink or a button or something, and it's got enamel on it and that, so yeah, Ray. Nice.
mid 70s um it's a big bit of silver it's not a coin it's definitely silver that in front of a pocket watch in front of a pocket watch you know it's got a nice design going on on there so i'll give it a quick clean and be straight back there we go um some more marks on there you can see 925 and then an h and some numbers at the bottom and then the design is the normal one that's normally on them it's got like the shield and then the edging and that it's quite odd to clean because it's a bit bent up but yeah it's a nice chunk of silver so big silver with the simplex <laughs> looks like a lovely um button or badge oh, look here's a button yeah got a lovely design on there I think it's a button front yeah it looks like it don't it see that's quite nice i've had quite a few buttons but obviously i don't show all the buttons because most of them are just boring four rollers and stuff but yeah i do like to show them when they're um got a nice design on like that one just broke this little clump open and there's a um another nice button front there you can see where it was on the soil look but yeah that's another lovely nice front of a button that's two really nice ones come up now like I said, I've had quite a few buttons, but only them two nice ones that I've shown so far. It's another quick one, it's another nice little button. I think it's just a small general service button. I think. I'm not 100% certain, I'm not great at ID and military stuff to be honest, the old stuff like that. But I'm pretty certain that's what that is. It looks like it. Flips it out and it must have been on top because it looks really dry. And there it is. A little pocket watch winder like i flipped it out so yeah it was obviously sat on the top on the dry stuff by the looks of that so that's a nice little find it um, looks like another mining token i'm surprised how many finds are actually getting because this stubble's really tough to get through but yeah got stuck i think it's a miner's token Get a wipe yeah, Knox Miners Association look. It's a bit worn, but it's not bad. It's better condition than that last one. At least we couldn't read the writing on this one. So yeah, it's turned, in, turned into a good day. Had some decent finds, but it is tough going through this stubble. It's really tough on the arm. It's really stiff. I think in a couple of weeks, once it's died down a bit and gone a bit softer, there should be a lot more finds coming up. This one, mid-30s. It's like the base to a lead toy, like a lead soldier figure. Yeah, there's no maker's mark or anything on it like that. Probably early 1900s, like toy soldier base. But yeah, I thought I'd show you that one. Mid 60s. Right around there. Could be another coin, another pit token. Could it be a silver? Could it be aluminium? Could it be crap? It's in the hole. Oh wait. Is that it? Big clump of lead. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Big clump of lead, I think looks that way it's nothing special anyway so um that brings an end to the um video guys uh, uh, basically all this video was just to like i say like we've been saying throughout the video just to show that these cheaper machines are all you need if you're just starting out i mean if you can afford a lot more money then fair play buy what you need to but in my opinion if you're just starting out or you've got a teenage kid or something that you want to start taking with you then this simplex light's perfect you don't get the headphones with it because it's the light version so you don't get wireless headphones but i don't really use headphones myself because i get headaches i get really bad headaches if i'm using the headphones i never used to but the past year or so i've just started to get really bad headaches so i don't use headphones so yeah simplex light it's down there i'm still carrying on i've got to take my way back off the field but i thought i'd do the end now because basically I just wanted to show that it'll still find things that's all it was just 189 pound machine finding stuff so no fancy editing or anything like that basically just to show you 
but a cheap machine can still do the business so yeah hope you all enjoyed the video and if you are interested in one of these head on over to LP and get yourself one 189 quid bargain uh, I'll leave a link in the um, video description to, to the machine so you can click on that if you want to get one for your kid or your partner someone just starting out like I say it's perfect for that but if you if you're a big hobbyist and you've been doing it a long time then then no then it'd be pointless to go and buy it if you've already got an Equinox or a Legend or a Deus it's pointless but like I say for starting out or as a nice backup machine or whatever it's perfect absolutely perfect so hope you enjoyed hope everyone's doing well leave us a comment and a thumbs up if you would and I'll catch you on the next one guys which will hopefully be soon because the fields are getting cut now so see you later